Good morning, Periscope friends and family. It is Tuesday morning. The sun's out here in Colorado, and uh, I am shaved, showered, and ready to go today. So excited to share this Periscope with you. We'll just warm up here for a minute while we're waiting from, for some joiners, and those of you watching on the replay will obviously get the whole thing. So the title of today's Periscope I thought would be a reflection of what's going on in my life right now. Uh, on fasting, fasting, you know, fasting made easy, made hard, made challenging. How do we let fasting be easy and how do we let it be an integral part of our life? So we're going to talk about fasting today. But before I jump into um, that, I just want to share two quotes. You know, in the morning I take a few minutes and run through the Facebook page. I just want to share two things that popped up today that I thought applied to what we're talking about here. One, uh, Margaret posted this on our page. I thought it was really good. She said, some say that what others think about you is none of your business. But what if what people think of you is more than what you think of you? What if there's people out there rooting for you and cheering for you and encouraging you and you're ignoring them? So Margaret, I thought that was just a great, great post today. And then the second one was a post that my wife put up from Corey Ten Boom. And as I looked at the post, you know, I saw an older woman on there and I realized here was a woman with the age and the experience and the wisdom to share something that I should listen to. And her quote was, worrying is carrying tomorrow's load with today's strength. It's moving into tomorrow ahead of time. Worrying does not empty tomorrow of its sorrows. It empties today of its strengths. So those are kind of my two um, little notes I made for today. They encouraged me and got me started. But let's take a look. We're going to take the next 10 minutes this morning and take a look at this fasting process. You know, yesterday yesterday was an interesting day for me. I was in a, in a real funk. And as I look back at it, I wasn't breathing. Um, I, my, I had brain fog. I was fuzzy. I was unfocused. And as I looked at that and put it in perspective, what I saw was that over the previous five days, I'd gained almost five pounds and I put on almost three inches on my waist. Now, that you can't do that unless you're eating the wrong stuff. And what I'd done is I'd created a lot of inflammation in my body. The challenge is I'd also create a lot of inflammation in my mind, my spirit, and my soul. And when you put that much inflammation in your body, you end up becoming pretty funky in how you show up for the day. So I knew that I needed to get started at cleansing, renewing, and restoring my mind and my body so I could get back on track with the things that really needed to happen this week. So for me, fasting has become a game changer. The challenge with fasting is it's not only a game changer, it's hard, it's, it's tough, it's rugged. You know, you look at it and go, how am I gonna get through this fasting process when I'm already struggling? Because um, we have a life to live. We have emotions to deal with. There's that little thing that says I'm emotional, so give me the cookies or give me the ice cream or give me the cake or give me the bowl of cereal. And, you know, you get through the first couple hours of fasting, your body's getting worn down, you still got to get to the evening, you got you to get through the family stuff. There's the temptation of your wife cooking amazing food, your daughter cooking amazing food. So you've got to have something to make this easy and to encourage you to do it because it is really, really powerful. So why fasting? Fasting, you know, the research shows, and research doesn't do much for you, we're going to get to the heart issue here in a minute, but research clearly shows that fasting one day a week is great for your health. It slows down the aging process. It supports the body's internal cleansing. It's restoring. It's healing. You know, it's interesting that animals, when they get sick, will fast. Animals, when they're, when they're under stress, will fast. And yet, when we get sick and we get under stress, we tend to turn to the carbs and the junk food. So here's the results in just 24 hours. This is me getting myself back on track. In 24 hours, and we're going to talk about how I did this. In 24 hours, I get rid of three pounds. I took three inches off my waist, and my brain, my focus, and my vision came back. So I think that that's a pretty good return on my results uh, for simply cleaning up my diet for 24 hours. So what that did is it encouraged me to go, what if I keep on going? So the encouragement is a lot more could happen if I stay with this. So the brain's more focused, the vision was clearer, and my morning prayer time, my passion, my, my passion, uh, I'm sorry, my worship time, my prayer time, that was all back in the game. So how do you get through it? What I always do is I start my morning with my hot fat coffee drink. And so we're not going to talk about water fasting today. We're going to talk about how to keep this really, really simple. So my hot fat chocolate drink, my hot fat coffee drink, uh, Cheryl has chocolate, I do coffee. It has about two scoops of collagen protein in it. That gives me 13 grams of very, very easy to digest 
protein and it has about three tablespoons of good fat in it, butter and MCT oil. And that gives me like 300 calories of fat. That's going to put the brain back in the game and keep me focused, uh, you know, give me the mental power to get through the day. So the brain and the energy is there, but I'm not putting the stress on the digestive system. So I have my hot fat drink in the morning and I'm also drinking a lot of water. And I've got a couple of things I put in here that are great for keeping me going. So I'm drinking a lot and that gives me the energy and the umph to keep on going through the day. And it really gets rid of the hunger for the first six, seven hours. I can actually make it to noon on my hot fat coffee drink because of the fat and the collagen in it. So what happens is I've moved into what we now call intermittent fasting. And intermittent fasting is where you, you take and you go, okay, I'm going to fast for, you know, maybe 18 hours out of the day and I'm going to eat for six or seven. So in effect, you're eating from, you know, noon till about six o'clock and then you give your body 18 hours to restore. And that works pretty well because you haven't deprived yourself. You've still got lunch. You've still got dinner. It works really well. But here's the key. You get to the next morning like I did. Okay, I made it to yesterday. I made it to noon. And then I made the commitment to keep going during the day. I had some um, bone broth, and we'll talk about that in a minute. I had a little bit for lunch. Um, had a bunch of olive oil shots, and we'll talk about olive oil in a second. And I made it to dinner time. And, you know, when you make it to dinner, it becomes much easier because then you go, just got to get to bedtime, which is 9 o'clock. So by 9 o'clock last night, that means I've fasted for, what, um, 24 hours, really. And then you sleep, and you pick up another 12 hours. You get up the next morning, and I have another one of my hot fat chocolate drinks. Before I know it, I've rolled out, what's that, 24, uh, 36 hours of fasting. So that's what I'm into today. Uh, my brain is better. My energy is better. I look better in the mirror. So that's all the encouragement to keep on going with the fasting. So here's the keys to making this work and making it simple. Number one, you know, there's times when water fasting is great. There's times when juice fasting is great. But what I'm trying to do right now is how do I make a several day process easy to go? So number one, <coughs> By getting enough of the good fats, which for me is olive oil, coconut oil, grass-fed butter, um, avocado oil, by putting enough of those into my day, and I, what I do is I do, I have these little um, cups and I just do shots of olive oil throughout the day. I do really good quality olive oil. Olive oil is amazing for your brain, amazing for energy. And to make it taste good, I add a little bit of flavored balsamic vinegar, too, just a splash of balsamic vinegar. Um, I use a cranberry pear that's really good. So as my brain starts to get fuzzy, if I start to feel a little funky, I just go down and have a shot of olive oil. And that gives me 100 calories of fat, of good fat. Energizes you, keeps you in the game. So the olive oil is my number one key for getting through the day. And then number two is two or three times a day, I'll have a drink of, of you know, I've got my hot fat coffee or I'll make a bone broth. And in the bone broth, I'll add another 13 grams of protein to that with the hydrolyzed collagen protein. And the hydrolyzed collagen protein, amazing because it gives you the energy, but again, no digestive issues as it's going through your body. So I've got my, my food clues for getting, you know, my food support to get through the day. It's really not food because I'm not dealing with the digestive stuff, um, but it's giving me the energy, the focus, and the clarity that I need. So here's the keys. Number one, baby steps. So stop eating at six o'clock at night, make it to the next morning, that's pretty easy. Six till six in the morning is very easy. Hot fat coffee, hot fat cocoa, that gives me the next six hours. Then I just start taking it one hour at a time. One of the things the Lord has taught me this year has been teaching me is to create success with baby steps, to create success uh, with what I call the, you know, the tortoise steps, just one step at a time, one hour at a time. So continuing to take time to reassess, to get myself in the game, and to say each hour, what do I need to do? What's coming next? So not making a long a big decision that I'm going to do this for three or four days, and I think this time I probably will. But I'm taking it into small blocks of time, checking in with the Lord and saying, what are we going to do next? Checking in with my body and listening to it and saying, what are we going to do next? Checking in with my spirit, my emotions, and saying, what are we doing from a spiritual standpoint with this so that I can be, um, you know, have more focus and more clarity. And not just dealing with this overwhelming process of, I'm not going to eat for two or three days. I'm going to starve myself. I'm going to see how hard I can make it on myself. I'm really working at making it easy and working on celebrating my successes, celebrating the baby steps. And knowing this, I go through this process. I'm putting myself back into the game of creating the successes that I want to create this week. I do a couple other things to support myself. I don't cut out all my supplements because I know that as I'm going through either you know, a six-hour or a 24-hour or 48-hour fast, that my body's cleansing and detoxifying. 
So I stay on, uh, the one supplement I stay on is my glutathione support, my OGF, uh, the original glutathione formula by Dr. Keller, because what that does is it helps with energy, it helps reduce the cortisol levels that go up when you're under stress, it helps the cells detoxify heavy metals and toxicity, and it helps the liver cleanse. So it's really supporting the cleansing process with that, with that um, supplement. And again, the bone broth, the collagen, uh, the high quality olive oil. I will say if you're buying olive oil, there's so much junk on the market um, because of the fraud and the challenges they're having in Italy. Italian olive oil is great, but how it's getting to market is really challenged. So if you're looking for olive oil in the store, I encourage you, the, the easiest way to find a good one is to go with a California olive oil and, and don't get the cheap stuff. If the price is too good to be true, there's a reason it's probably not a high quality olive oil. And, and olive oil is great, but you need enough of it. Uh, the Kerrygold butter, the grass-fed butter, amazing for energy, amazing for your brain support. And then the hydrolyzed collagen protein. We use a product by Protein Essentials. If you go to um, proteinessentials.com, you can uh, get that. If you use the coupon code LIFESTYLE, it'll give you 10% off and a discount on shipping. So the hydrolyzed collagen protein, great for the fasting, great for your skin, your hair, your nails, and all of that process. So summary for where we're going today. The reason for fasting is you're taking time to get clarity on where you're going, moving out of where you've been wallowing, moving out of where you've been wandering, and creating that focus and clarity in your spirit, your soul, and your body that's going to let you move forward and um, create focus and clarity in your life. So that's our, our podcast, for, not our podcast, what do we call this? This is our Periscope for today. I just want to thank you guys for being a part of my day, taking this 10 minutes with me. Um, most of all, to thank you for the support and the caring I'm getting from you guys as I'm learning how to broadcast, as I'm learning how to develop my voice, as I'm learning how to breathe, as I'm learning how to move forward um, with bringing my message to the marketplace and knowing that as I bring my voice and my message to the marketplace, I hope that it's encouraging you that your voice, your message, what's in you matters. The amazing thing is today we have so many tools to let you bring your voice to the market, to touch somebody's life. You know, you may not be the next president of the United States, but there's somebody there's somebody today that's waiting for you to reach out and touch them, to make their life a little bit better, to pray for them, to encourage them, uh, to give them a hug. Your voice matters. Who you are matters. So I just want to encourage all of you guys that one way or another, you all have the ability to make the world a little bit better today. So thanks for making my day better, um, and I pray that this will make your day better. I love you guys. Thanks, and I'll talk to you again tomorrow morning. See ya.